Hello everyone, I am Professor Whoopi and I'm here to whoop you up a big one for you today. That's right, oh, we got a great lesson today for you. In a world that says that what was once right is no longer right and what is wrong is right, oh, somebody is really confused. Well, you see, the Bible is right no matter what year, century, or anything. That's right, because God's Word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So our lesson today is called, How Can I Be Pure? Well, I want you to listen up to P.F. when he comes. He will be hosting our lesson today in just a few moments. Now, it's time for me to go. But I'll be back at the end to wrap everything up in a nice, neat package for you. Okay? All right. Bye-bye. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, eight, remaining start, remaining start, two, one, Boost ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, taking the way for future missions beyond. To tell the truth each day Sometimes a lie Is easier to say But God wants us pure With a heart just like His Hello everyone, glad you could join us today. Let me start by saying that the theme of the verses in the 119th Psalm is the prayer of one who delights in God and lives by the word of God in everything that he or she does in their lifetime. Now, we're going to look in the Bible in Psalm 119.9 because there it says, How can a young man stay pure? by reading your word and following its rules. Again, that's Psalms 119, 9, 
the Living Bible. This is perhaps one of the most used verses on being pure, but many quote it and never really explain it. So we need to understand what pure is first. Everyone seems to have a different concept, but what it means to be pure. So in this segment, we're going to look at the word pure. First, pure is a noun. The definition is its condition or quality of being pure. In other words, freedom from anything that corrupts, contaminates, or pollutes. Just like your drinking water, we like it to be free from any kind of mixture or modifying addition. In other words, clean. So, in the spiritual sense, it would be freedom from guilt or evil, innocence, according to Webster's Dictionary. Now, the Bible definition is, is real. Purity comes as a result of believing that Jesus is Lord and that Jesus died in our place to ransom you from impurity, which is sin. Pure living increases as you work together with the Holy Spirit to live as a redeemed child of God. Purity describes who you are and what you do. How can a Christian be pure? Well, the following should help us to understand how we can do this. Four easy steps. Here we go. Number one, get a new heart. We are not pure people by nature. We need to ask Jesus to come into our life and ask for forgiveness of our sins. Once we do this, then we can begin to live for Jesus. Number two, we need to have the fear of the Lord. You see, this is a heart matter, believe it or not. It's having a heart that fears, or maybe the word should actually be, which when it's translated from the Bible, the word fear in this instance means respect. So we should have respect and love God and want to do the things for him that bring glory to him. Number three, control yourself. Simply self-control helps your progress towards purity. But you know what? For this step, you're going to always need God's help. You can't do it on your own. And number four, be accountable to your pastor, kids pastor, parents, Sunday school teachers, and even some of your Christian friends. Therefore, church and gatherings together is a very important thing. It's a great way for us to be able to be accountable to each other. Now, in our next segment, we will cover the reading of God's Word and the following the rules. See you in just a few moments. How can a boy or girl be pure? Truth be told, how can anyone stay pure in our world today for God? The Bible says in Psalm 119.9 The Living Bible, How can a young man stay pure? By reading your word and following its rules. The following four areas can help us. Number 1. Get a new heart. By nature we are not pure. We are born into sin. We ask Jesus to forgive our sins, after all he died on the cross so we can have forgiveness. Then we can begin to live for God. Number 2. The fear of the Lord. We need to have the fear of the Lord. But this fear is not terrifying fear. Fear equals having a heart that loves and respects God. So, in this case fear equals respect. Because you want to bring Him glory, in everything you do. Number 3. Self-control or control yourself. Self-control helps your progress toward purity. For this, you'll always need God's help. Because no matter what, you cannot do it on your own. Number 4. Be accountable or responsible. We must be responsible to parents, 
brothers, sisters, teachers, church and pastors. And this list goes on and on. No matter what you do in life, you'll always be responsible to someone in this world we live in. None of the previous four can happen until you learn to get into God's word every day. Reading God's word is just like eating food when you are hungry. The more we get into the word, the more we will want to live for God. So, how can a boy or girl be pure? By reading God's word and following the rules. So, in this segment, now we are looking at God's Word, which is the Bible that we have. The bad part about it is that many times we never pick it up to read it. Everyone seems to have a Bible, but very few of us really ever really pick up our Bibles and really ever begin to read it. Why, half the time I would even venture to say we might have to like blow off about an inch worth of dust off of the thing just to be able to get it to open. Anyways, well, let me move on here. You see, the Bible is God's word to us. It tells us how to live and helps us in every situation in life that comes, no matter what comes across us. You could say that it's our manual on how to live for God. Because Jesus came as a baby and was born and raised on earth, he, Jesus, went through many of the same problems that we have, and he understands us and our needs. Therefore, the Bible is, a very, is very important to us because it will guide us through life. So, what are some of the qualities of living a pure life? How about living with integrity, which means honesty and being accountable for the things you do? As a pure person, you should desire a clean and whole life free from the dishonesty of the world and compromise that the world has to offer. Your desire for purity leads you to avoid and resist temptations that would pollute or weaken your character or qualities of your life. Therefore, the Bible helps us to live a pure life and stay away from the devil's tricks and temptations. Now, the second part of the verse tells us about following the rules. If you remember, it talked about what can a young man do to stay pure? To read reading the word. Now, if all we ever do is talk about how we're going to try to live for God and never crack open the Bible to read it, then we are fooling ourselves and we're in for a great disappointment. We must read the word of God every day. In the physical, we eat every day so that we don't go hungry. Well, in the spiritual part of us, we need to eat spiritually as well, or we will starve spiritually and die spiritually. So God's word is our source of food for our spiritual part of us that needs to be fed every day. Now, there are so many different ways to read the Bible that everyone should be able to read it or hear it, the word of God. And no excuses. Reading can be a five-minute time frame that you set aside to be able to read it or as many verses as you can. You could simply start out with five verses if you're the type of person that doesn't like to read a lot. And I guarantee you that before long, those five are going to turn into 10, 15, 20, and even more. And it could even go into a full chapter. But to tell you to just pick up the Bible and start reading it by the chapter, that might be a little hard for some of us, especially if we're not used to it. So start out slow, five verses at a time. And if you find that you get to the end of that fifth verse and you go, I want to know what's happening here. Well, then read on and enjoy it because it is God's word and it is food to our soul spiritually. You see, the final thought here is that simply we must follow God with all of our heart and allow God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit to work in us. As they work in us, and we follow him with all of our heart. That helps us to make us pure as believers in a dark world in which we live today. Well, it's been great to be with you today. And this is PF. And I'm going to say, see you later until next time. Bye-bye.
No one will ever know, if I take a few samples from the lab. Gotta do this experiment, to see if I can destructualize the cell structure. That was like stealing candy, from a toddler. I don't understand. I have several vials that all of a sudden are gone. I know I did not misplace them. I better get a hold of Captain John. What's the emergency? I'm missing very dangerous vials that could kill us if used wrong. I'll check the cameras. We'll see who the person is that took them. Thank you, Captain. No problem, Dr. Jane. I asked you all here because someone took files out of the lab. Oh no. Dad, what's a vial? Don't worry about it. But did you take anything from the lab? No, Dad. I did not. John, I did not. Daddy, you know I wouldn't. Well, about you? Why, Dad? You know I would never do that. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'll be in the observation deck in two hours. So, meet me there, if anyone took them. Son, answer me one question. Why did you not tell the truth? I honestly didn't think it would hurt anyone. You hurt me most, but most of all you hurt God as well. I'm sorry dad. And God, I'm sorry as well for lying. The Bible says, how can a young man be pure? I know by reading your word and following its rules. That is the Bible. Will, I need you to return the vials to Dr. Jane. Yes, sir. Right away. Always be honest, then you can live at peace with everyone. Thanks, Dad. Dear Jesus, please forgive me for stealing and cleanse my heart today. has been a really awesome lesson today. I liked it. How about you? I hope you did. So, how can a young man be pure? Well, you got to understand that the word man back in the day meant everyone. Now, when we interpret it in our culture today, it means everybody. So, man, boy, uh, girl, woman, everyone. It encompasses everyone. So, how can everyone stay pure? Well, simply by reading the Word of God. That's right, and following its rules. Now, one last takeaway. We must follow God with all of our heart and allow God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit to do the work in us. No matter how good we are, we can't do it on our own. It must come from God. And he's the only one that can help us. As we open our heart and our lives to him, he can do awesome things through us. Whoa! Well, we'll see you next week for another great Bible story. So, it's time for me to say goodbye. Averse, arrivederci, hasta la vega, hasta la viga, hula hula! Oh, but last but not least, Haruba Boo! <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta stop that before I get in trouble. Okay, so remember that God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit loves you, and so does Professor Whoopi. Goodbye!
Yes, that's me at NOJO Production. Thank you very much.